Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and I'm not going to do an unboxing today of Too Many Bones, because I've had this for a while, but um, back in November, around the time the Kickstarter for the Undertow, kick, the Undertow expansion came out, uh, I built a uh, insert for the base game box that I hoped would hold everything uh, for the expansions, and I finally got my copy in, started messing with it last night, and I'm happy to say that uh, this box right now contains everything for Too Many Bones, everything for Undertow, all 10 gear locks, um, the stitched mats, and the adventure maps, and the, uh, the stitched uh, battle bat, and everything else. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour uh, of what's inside, and uh, um, just let you see how I did it, and maybe inspire you to do it. I have not included the Daylor or Tyranny expansions yet, but as I look at what's in those, um, I don't think there'll be a problem actually fitting these in here as well. It is very, very heavy. I mean, way, oh my gosh. This is gonna be like 20 pounds. It is huge, but it all fits. So let's take a quick look inside. All right, so. One thing I got here is these are some of the the helps that I've printed out over over time for the first version, um, and these are the replacement stickers that I've yet to put onto the uh, to the first edition chips. My version it was first edition. Um, then I got the 2.0 upgrade, and then I now got the 3.0 upgraded cards, which you'll see or uh, or you'll see in the blog post. Uh, they're much improved over the previous editions. A lot more legible, a lot lighter in color. So we start with the uh, battle dice, the trap dice, the um, uh, lock picking dice, the initiative dice. Those go in two of these trays. One thing I did was um, I had some space in here using just the Too Many Bones dice, so I added a few from um, from Undertow just to fill it out, so I have 20 of each. Uh, it's interesting that the uh, it's a little darker um, uh, color on the gray and the yellow. See the gray there is just a little darker in the yellow, but it doesn't matter because they're not hidden or anything. So use one tray for that and one of the trays for the others. That's all I need for those. These are the PDF versions of the first seven uh, gear lock guides. And I printed them out half size and laminated them. And hopefully I'll be able to get the other three and do that as well. Because once you learn the rules, it's nice to just have a smaller reference sheet. But the others are in here as well. So when I made the insert here, I cut down the plastic chip theory games liner that was in the original and uh, use it as a little protection. So one of the things I added was this lifter right, to help pull everything up out of the bottom. So we have the undertow book, we have the Jiminy Bones rule book, then we have the really nice new mats. There's one for Jiminy Bones, there's one for undertow, they're double-sided, and then we have our battle mats. So all the mats are in here. And here's the undertow battle mat. Slightly different. That way. And then the gear locks, all ten of them are in here, along with the ten, uh, the reference guide and the ten uh, original size reference cards. So they all get nice and snug down there. Like I said, the lifter helps you get all that out. One thing that was really cool with Undertow is they give you the chips in these little trays. Now I had built, so I get them out here. The lids want to pop off. It's the only downside about them. Let me get this guy out first to give myself some finger room. So I had originally built four sets of these to go across. Um, so when I saw that these were included in Undertow, I was like, there's no way those are going to fit in this slot that I had already made, and sure enough, they fit perfectly. They hold 25 chips each, and they drop straight in. 
So I was able to replace four, uh, three of my cardboard ones for this. So what I've done is these are the Too Many Bones batty chips. These are the Undertow batty chips. And then I've got this one here with about 50 health chips of the premium style. Which are really nice. I use those and then the extra uh, the extra chips I've got in bag here. So then we got the cards, a little slotted here for the cards. So these are the revised cards for with the uh, upgrade kit uh, tuck boxes. Uh, so these are for too many bones. And there's a nice little slot they just laying down here. This is one of the decks for Undertow. And these are a lot different style. It's still very nice. And the one's there. And then there's another tuck box right here. Because leaving myself room here. All right. So those go there. The initiative, uh, the lane chips, the uh, gearlock chips, and the new ally chips and things like that are just I stuck in a bag for now. And they make a little box, a little tuck in here to hold them. But for right now, this is okay because these are mostly going to go with the with the gear locks. Here's the other health chips I was talking about. And just spread out, tuck down in there. And then finally, of course, these are the gear locks using my little boxes that I made, which are of course available on Etsy if you're interested, and make it just so much easier to store each character. Right. And each one holds 21 dice, so it'll hold all their. Uh, dice, their stat dice, and their initiative die. All in one place, so you can just hand this out to the player who's going to use them. So all ten of them are there. Here's the new ones. Bring these out here. There's Duster's dice. Now her pink, her fuchsia, is more of a little more like a watermelon than it is a fuchsia, but uh, you know, it's fine. They're still distinct enough of a color. And then Stanza with her kind of turquoisey color. That was a pretty good match, I think, in the color. And then last but not least, we have Gasket in this kind of coppery brown. But then all, all ten gear locks tuck right nicely in. Now they expand more. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble, but uh, worry about that later. Like I said, it's a heavy, heavy, heavy box. But that's it. So um, now Undertow came with duplicates of all of these dice, and these actually contain the uh, the uh, gear, the uh, excuse me, the Too Many Bones bad guys uh, uh, tyrants and the Undertow tyrants. So I had a lot more room originally. I did swap out the really cool uh, D6. They had a black pip dice and for under two they have a nice little transparent-y translucent uh, die here. That's pretty cool. So I kept that one to be used in the game. Okay. And so all these are here. All the extras, all the duplicates are stored in um, the undertow box put away I won't need them the now expired uh, not expired obsolete cards are also tucked away in the 2.0 upgrade box and the uh, uh, undertow box because I'm having a hard time just throwing them away but these are a lot brighter and you can read them a lot better than the former darker ones and I've got some pictures on my blog and have them side by side, the same card side by side, and show how much nicer it is to read them. But anyway, I was really thrilled again that these tucked right inside. I mean, that was just providential that that worked. It was just amazing that they just fit. And they ride on those rails. So these are a treat. And then this one just kind of drops in there. Holds the buffer. that back in there. Look at this card deck right here. 
the chips put on top. We'll add back our extra mats and our rule books and our protector sheet. And then we will put these in. Put these two trays in. Like that. And those just rest on top and I gotta really get rid of them. That just shows that you can get everything available for too many bones and undertow into the base box. Hope you've enjoyed that and have been inspired to uh, maybe make your own insert as well. Uh, again, I'll put a link for the uh, gear lock boxes. If you like those, you can order them directly from me on Etsy or you can just order from Etsy the plan and cut and print them yourself. And the labels are available for free online. I'm not selling the labels. So thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.